B3. You sunk my battleship. I've almost certainly said that before. It's hard not to. I don't know, maybe I just held back with my restraint all the way up until now. Hmm. Are these- I wonder if these toggles will ever be bi-directional? And they just bring back the toggle mechanic from before? Because so far they just turn it on and off. Ah, so they might create specific laser sequences where you have to turn it off because it'll remove the color that lets you move forward in the, in the form of color blending. That's probably actually about to happen so that I can get through these doors. But we'll probably still be solving two sequences at once. It's just that it's about the existence and subtraction of one mechanic instead of, the pre instead of what we had before. Really does shoot directly through that. Seems like you'd really want to start with this one. Hmm. So one linear, one alternator. Then a diamond, a triangle, and an X. Hmm. Yeah, so when it's off, it doesn't shoot anywhere. And when, it, let's see. Yeah, it's gonna be that. So when this is off, this is green and that's red. And when this is on, it'll redirect the green into the red, and, the, and that'll become yellow. Ta-da! There we go. Four linear, one toggle, two power sources. Two diamonds, one X, and one, di one triangle. Hmm. Yeah, that seems to be what we're doing now. Oh, look how many there are. Okay. Huh? Oh, they're blending, right. We have a green here, a red and a blue are pointing at each other, but they can all be switched at will. You can't not defeat me. Green, green, blue. Hmm. Might as well start just poking at it and see what happens. Hmm. So we're not going to be shooting diagonally because that will interrupt the X. And that's bad. Maybe that's where I put the interrupt. Did I not pick you up? There we go. I only want this to go through sometimes. There we go. So great. So yeah. These will always be true. Which is necessary, because they're the the one that has to be in conjunction with each other. And actually, that one will always be open too, but this one has to be toggled. Oh, right. Right, this one won't always be true. Because when I toggle you on, this will become purple. So diamond will close, but this being purple will combine it with green to make the X true. There we go. World 3, how about... Ooh. Ooh, we're seeing a lot in that direction. Ah. A creepy dark lake. <laughs> oh yeah. 
You can see just everything stretching out beyond. All right, let's try not to fuck it up. We got a wall, we're on the ground, we got the mirrors, they're back. They're back. They're back, y'all. And C1. All right, um, our goal is one. Well, we have five diamonds is the goal. Finish that sentence correctly. We have one linear, two splitters, two power sources. Let's try to make sense of this room. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It is a lot. All right, so I'm right off the bat, I'm pretty sure we want to switch these. Yeah. Then switch you guys. Because now green's taken care of. Then switch you guys. Because now this can get blue and green. Wait, we don't want a splitter here. Oh yeah, we do. We want one over here. Here. So there's two of these. Gotcha. Ba boom Oop, the beam's going to the next room. It's one of those. Two linears, three splitters, one power source, six diamonds. Gotta keep that all in your head. Well, the power source is irrelevant because it's not gonna move, right? Yeah, we just have the red, one red beam, I think. There's two and three. Okay, so. We've got two of those on the wall. They're getting the green already, so my goal is just to get a red up there. But then these do need a red and green. So I want to capture the green to bring it down. Which I'm going to have to do there. Because it still needs to go through there, so we need a splitter. There we go. And now I just need a way to send a red back up there in the first place. We shall see. Got a lot of materials at work here. Oh god, a lot of splitters. A lot could happen here. You're good. Hmm. Doesn't really serve any purpose, actually. More that we want to split here, I think. Is that everybody? So the red comes through here, bounces through here, and then gets... It, it comes in through here and goes up into that. Ah, but this doesn't ever reach here. Oh, right. I had the right idea, I just had it, I had it going backwards for some reason. So red comes through here and goes to the back, it's here, and splits to here. Which also goes there, and there, and there, in one go. It's pretty much just reaching here from the get-go. Yeah, every, everything should be good. three we have one linear three sources seven diamonds oh, oh four splitters skipped over that okay huh probably don't have to deal with anything that's past that door until we're you know done with this one 
We have a red, a blue, and a green beam that can all be interchanged with each other. Got these guys. Okay, so you need all three, you need all three, you need red and blue, red and blue, just green. Hmm. Just green. So we probably want to send green up on one of these sides and then redirect it this way. Oh, that's going to be weird. Because green needs to reach here and there and they're on different heights. So we just got to hope we have enough moving parts, I suppose. How do I pick which laser I want to go where? Well, this is already shooting a blue and that's already shooting a green. That's usually a good sign. And you're shooting a red. Something that needs a red at least. And that lines up with the yep with the white. So we want all of them to kind of combine here if we if we can. If they're already shooting the color that they are, you usually don't need to switch it. Usually. Hmm. Mm hmm hmm. We have a purple there. Purple is there and there. Oftentimes the question is just, will the same beam go through there and there eventually, I wonder? It's not always easy to say. I'm thinking we're gonna need a switcher, I mean a uh, splitter like right around here. So certain colors can get bo to both places. I guess the blue? But at that point, you'd need one of these guys to make sure the blue actually goes there. So I don't know if this is going to work out. Hmm. Meanwhile, in a place like this, having a splitter is mostly pointless. Also, I need to get a green to be there, because it's white. So you need blue, green, and red. So I can't shoot blue and green through here like this, because they'd split into that. Hmm. Might need to rearrange the colors. Might still be in my best interest. I don't know. There's a lot to there's a lot to process on this one. Uh, let's see here. Poof, 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 poof. Thinking like you can get the blue to go this way from here. Yeah, the split is a little weird. Let's do this. It gets the white, it gets the white, it gets the blue. But I believe I've used up every piece. And I need to figure out how to make that green. Mm. Is there a redundant element around here? Are you redundant? You are. You're not currently doing anything in this model. Huh. Did I just do it? Six has seven. What's wrong? Ah. Ah. Split. Switch. The, that, that's why I felt redundant. Because this needed to be here for the blue. And that's why the linear is left over. There we go. I knew something was wrong. C4. Two linear, three splits. Only one beam. 
seven diamonds. One beam coming from here, because two of them are coming from the previous room. So we have purple and green on the wall and blue on the floor. Three splits, two linears. Hmm. Seems like a clear incentive to split this so the green hits all three of these things while coming down here. And yeah, the green's not necessary anywhere else. So getting it to just to go here and there, that one thing is making green reach every single cube it needs to reach in this map. For the for the purple, we just need to get it off the screen. Because nothing up here needs purple except for what's already going through. So I probably just divert it through here. Yeah. That's both purples down. Now I just need blue to reach there and there and there, because that's the blue and green mixture. You already have purple going through you, so it doesn't need to reach the, it doesn't need to reach that white. But if it did, I don't think it would cause a problem, necessarily. Hmm. I think we might be in the clear. No, 6 out of 7. Ah. White. This needs a purple to go through it. Where have I gone wrong? Hmm. They, they gave you room behind it, so something came diagonally through here. There's another purple. If it came diagonally through that purple, it might be usable. Hmm. But this is kind of all in the way. Not very encouraging. Not very encouraging. You still need to split it. You still need to send it through here. We only we only have the two, right? Hmm. And then of course that completely upsets my entire blue system here. But none of it's really working. Which leaves me still needing to get blue up there. Let's try to get back to where I was. Hmm. Okay. So. Hmm. A splitter could get both purples at once. So that's probably what I need to do to reach those. And a linear would work here, right? Yeah. There we go. It does look nice putting them on the black walls. D. You guys, I found the D. It's green. 
Under construction. That's different. We're getting Portal 2e a little bit. Or I guess Portal 1, actually. Because they, 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 they still let you go behind things already in that. Zero out of zero. Yep. Move along. You won't be finding a D1 anywhere around here. So what's the theme for this one, huh? Because I think we're theming these letters. What? Okay. Hmm. Alright, we have mirrors. Just straight up actual mirrors now. And, oh, the door's over there. Through that thing. Gotcha. Um, okay, we have no cubes, two power sources, three, I assume those are mirrors? I don't know, these are the same symbol for that as that. Yeah, it must be the mirrors. That's all that's here. So they have the same symbol for the triangle receptacles and the mirrors. So that's mirror and power source. I have four, four diamonds, two red, two green. How do these work? Oh, it's the filter mechanic again. So you can only bounce things off of stuff if they're not that color, otherwise they'll let it through. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. We have created an infinite loop. What will we do? Well, that's not very helpful. Oop. That's significantly more helpful. Ta-da! Bounce. This bounce is green. This bounce is red. And this has to be not green and not red. So it's blue. It's because they both have to bounce in their respective directions. Okie dokie. Off to D2. One power source, two mirrors, four diamonds. We have a white beam, and it's, yep, there's the filter. So it's going through it. There's a little tutorialization through level design here, where it, the way that it's introduced shows that this thing will filter out what it's not the color of, and anything that is that color will just go through it. That's how you split combined colors. The question is, do I want to split combined colors? That's a much better one. A yellow one. And then move it here. If it's yellow, then it'll it'll send yellow to the yellow. Straightforward usage here. Oh yeah. Here we go. Yep. The dominoes were all laid out for me. Nearly. One power source, two mirrors, three blocks that are linear, and one that's a switch, a toggle. There's a lot of moving parts now. We have four diamonds that need to be completed. Okay. I've got a white one, got a purple one, got another purple one, got a green one, got a big old mess of shit over here. <laughs> what is even happening? Oh, it's coming from over there. Gotcha. Poof. We have a white one, which... What does a white do? Here's where I get in my own head about how the, the filters work. Isn't a white mirror useless because it would just let everything through it? Or does it bounce everything except for white? Hmm. I guess white's just always where it starts to feel weird. Okay, so we want purple to reach there and there, but we want white to reach the end point. And we have a switch. I imagine the switch might have to do with these guys, because if I line it up, I could send like purple or white down here, and I can switch between them. What is the switch for? 
Wait, what is the toggle for? Normally the toggle's for when there's different block types, but we only have a we only have diamond. So like what? Normally it's like different types of blocks. Like that's the X door and that's the tri that's the triangle door and that's the circle door, but I just have four diamonds. So I'm not sure what the switch is supposed to be for then. Am I imagine am I for missing something? Cuz that's normally the issue, right? Anyway. What that make happen? What is the rule? One out of two diamonds. Is there supposed to be a sign for each door to explain what each door wants? I'm just not sure what's happening here. So there's four diamonds, but the only requirement anywhere is for two diamonds. It's, and it's shown up over here. Is this one one out of two? Um... I thought... I don't know. I feel like this is the whole reason why we have multiple symbol types, is so that... is for this kind of situation. So I'm confused why they're not using different symbol types this time. Okay, so yeah, the moment it's not white, it just bounces. These won't switch with each other. Oh, because it said they have to be similar. Hmm. There we go. I had the mistake of making it face the same direction. Did not have the power to redirect. Okay, so that's where we're gonna, gonna get the green from. So we have a green, we have a purple. Now the first and third doors are open? Why? Toggle one. I feel like there's supposed to be like a sign on each door explaining the rule of that door. Because in previous games, they'd be, a, if there was a series of doors, they would have signs on each door explaining what each one required. Usually that this one required X's and that one required diamonds. This one only has a rule on one of them. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so you are purple and white again. Try to make sense of this. <clears throat> no. We want purple to come in at the attack angle, other side. Nope. There we go. Because purple needs to hit both to complement the green. Which will be slightly hard at this angle, except I can do this. Hmm. Just bounce it back. Nah, cause it'll it'll go through it cause it's purple. You're not really doing anything right now. Uh. If I want to attack from this side, I have to get here. Because there's no... there's no blocks around here. There's no spaces on the floor that you can use. And these are the devices I have to use. Did I have two mirrors? Yeah, there's a purple one. That doesn't help me with the purple. It's just this guy. I have no splitters. Can 
Can I def... No, because it's, when it's sideways, it'll just block it. But I don't think there's a... Yeah. I don't think there's a version where I perfectly shoot purple into purple and green into green. That's the limitation of a mirror. And this thing's useless. Just completely useless in this situation. Hmm. In addition to that, it can only shoot the green sideways and the purple straight. The closest I can get is to do this. But I'd still be working on how to get the purple like there. That angle's off. So I can't shoot diagonally into it from the purple in a way that hits the purple at the same time. Meanwhile, the green's just flying off into space. So basically, at the moment, this is just infinitely worse than the original solution. But hey, I got it. Ha ha ha. But yeah, the, this added complication of trying to get it over by one and seeing if I could incorporate the mirror in any way is largely unhelpful. Uh, hmm. It technically means that if I do it in the other direction, that'll work. And there's just a d dogs are just having at it in the hallway right now. This might have been an improvement. This might be something I can work with. I'm not really sure how. <laughs> Fuck. Also, just not all that sure what this guy's even for. Does one of these doors close if I have too many of them active at the same time? I wonder. Now I have one out of two, but that one's closed. Oh, that's that's what we're that's what we're going for. That's unusual. I get it though. So this one requires two diamonds. This one requires this one to be active, and this one requires that one to be active. I, I mean, that one requires this one to be active. I was gesturing them in the reverse order. Hmm. I do still feel like it'd be clearer if they're just like, that's the X door, it requires one X, and that's the di triangle door, it requires the one triangle. But I guess the ambiguity is supposed to be that I need to have two things active to open this door, and they can be one of these. Hmm. But I'm probably barking up the, the wrong tree from the get-go. I think the issue here is that you don't solve the level. Like, not, you don't do a thing where all of the things are true. Instead, you have one answer where... Probably this one and one of those is true, and then one where this one and, w and one of those is true. Because that one it opens when two of them are, are active, and, and then these each open apparently when just that one is active? Let's try to test it more specifically, to be sure. Uh, let's it through, okay. Okay, so this is active, so that's open. Huh. This suggests there might be a possibility to have an answer where you just have the purple and yet Like, if you, if you could get purple and white to both be open at the same time, then that would also be open, because it only requires two, and then those blocks would be completely irrelevant to the puzzle. But that's probably not possible? Because then it would be a weird puzzle if it was possible. That'd be strange. 
yeah, it's not it's not possible to have these true at the same time because of the fact that the uh, there's no splitters. So because this vec if everywhere from that direction to that direction, there's no placeable spots, which means that firing a beam through either of these squares in any direction will always go into a wall. So it's a dead beam. So any beam going to these guys is dead. Whereas you can maneuver around these guys, so any beam going to these guys can just be caught on the other side and redirected. And with it, with dead beams, you need a you need a splitter so that you can create an additional beam, so that the dead beam doesn't kill the color because you need to be able to use it elsewhere. <clears throat> that means we're gonna go through one of these, then through one of these in each configuration. And logically, it'd be like, yeah, that one's like one purple and one not purple. That one's one green and one not, not green or whatever. Still, how do I approach this? I have a lot of space to work with. And a lot of moving parts. And I had to come up with a plan that toggles. This opening split still feels like it makes a lot of sense, but you probably don't do this, because if I did, then it th th would always be at 2 2 anyway. Hmm. There we go. Wait, are they just all open? Why are they all open? Um, is that a bug or am I? St I c <laughs> is this a bug or have I beaten the puzzle and still can't tell how it worked? Because I feel like I might have solved the puzzle without learning how it works still. So purple is not active, but the door is open anyway. And like this does clearly have a beam going to this door, seems to indicate that that's how you open the door. And yet purple is open, even though it's not open. This might be a bug. Like, they might have accidentally attached the 2 of 2 rule to that one, and so it's staying open, because 2 of 2 is open? I don't know. I, uh... I don't know. I think I'm back in square one, where I think this room might need an update, either to make something more clear, or to, to fix a bug. I don't know which one. But, I've solved it, and I'm still confused by what's happening here. But okay. On to E. Dichroic mirrors? Achievement unlocked. Dichroic mirrors. Hello, colorful purple land. <laughs> 